with you. But I got a new van. I'm gonna use for camping. This is it right here. This is a Dodge Ram 1500 conversion van. On the inside, I have plenty of space for camping. So this is my new camping van. If you look up there, right in the center, got some mood lights, plenty of cabinet space. Right center there in the middle is a place for a TV, which I'm getting an Amazon here pretty soon. So when I get it all decked out, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, folks, good morning. This is January 1, 2018. Happy New Year. So uh, I'm a little crazy. I finally have my camper set up, ready to go. Let me give you a quick tour here. I'm going camping this weekend. And inside my camper here, I have my bed. Uh, got a cooking pan over there. So all my camping needs. And up in these cabinets, I have my food, my clothing, all the kind of fun stuff. Uh, and check this out. My wife, she made me a curtain, to separate the front from the back. And it says, I love you more than marshmallows, which is very cool because uh, our family loves marshmallows so uh, I'll give you a quick update when I get to the campsite uh, but this will be my first my last live update here uh, before I get there and then when I come back I'll have to do some a lot of editing to get uh, a video ready for you but I'll be gone for four days so two days out in the woods two days at my sister's place uh, I'm really excited looking forward to it so I'll let you know how the camping van goes. All right, so I am at my campsite. The not the one I was hoping for that I got last, I guess technically last year, a couple months ago. Uh, I got stuck in the snow, and I was afraid that if I stayed there longer, the heat from the van would melt the snow some more and create ice, and would not be able to get out very well. As it has took me a long time to get out there, of uh, that spot. Uh, another thing kind of exciting I saw I'm assuming wolf tracks uh, or at least a dog anyway um, so it was kind of exciting I know there's bears out here maybe some wolves too I don't know just the one set of tracks uh, but yeah so pretty cool here's what I was dealing with here a bunch of snow and ice so very very slippery and my van is of course real wheel drive which is not the best for you know off-roading but uh i'm gonna set up camp here and see what happens and uh hopefully spend a couple days but i'm hungry i'm gonna make some lunch all right y'all i found the camping spot that i want and i want to show you a tour of the inside my little penny tour because it's not as big enough for a nickel but here uh it's deep enough and tall enough in here that I could sit down and sort of halfway stand up. So right up here is where the entertainment center used to be. So I just use it for storage for my bigger cooking items. So inside you might be able to see my little coffee pot. Yep, yeah, coffee pot right there. Here's some uh, 
sweet southern tea the one thing you see right here is my cutting board and <laughs> these parts are cool when it gets dark enough i'll show you my mood lights so looks like little tiny christmas bulbs on the inside but i did take out this seat right here uh, for the fourth passenger just so i have more leg room i can sit here but it's big enough inside of here that i'm actually sitting in my camping chair so that gives you a somewhat idea of room inside of here uh, in the back half i have more cabinet space uh, so i have an extra blanket my little pee jug um, biodegradable shampoo this is my uh, bathroom kind of setup area bathroom so i have my toiletries up here toothpaste mouthwash deodorant uh, that taint scrubber that i got in the battle box a while back uh, here's my kitchen so i have a little grill my little cook set uh, some extra water here of course and inside of this bucket or this big boxing that it's sitting on is just more survival or camping supplies like uh, a box of MREs and that kind of stuff. So technically, uh, I'd be good to go for a couple of weeks in this thing if I needed to. So if I did get stuck in the other spot that I wanted, uh, I'd be I'd be okay. Technically, until the spring, until the snow thawed out. So uh, one addition I did put in here was a bunch of these little command hooks. So these things are, uh, I don't want to say essential, but they are pretty helpful when it comes to van camping um, as you can see i have my garbage bag set up here if i need to another one here for some lights uh, and i have another one over here so pretty much all around i have them set up so if i need to hang something up or get it out of the way i can do that i have this little thermometer on the inside you can see it's 50 degrees even so I have, a, I have a probe on the outside and it's pretty much freezing out there. Let's see if I can get that in focus. There you go, 32.7 degrees. So it's almost, what, 18 degrees warmer inside. So uh, I'm doing okay so far. All right, there is my curtain. It is up. I love you more than marshmallows. Thank you, honey. Uh, instead of going with some kind of lunch food, I decided to make a cup of coffee. Got my creamer in there. So, uh, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's starting to get dark already because it's up in the mountains. Um, I guess not really mountains, but mountainy woody area, lots of trees. So, uh, things are going okay so far. Let's check the temperature. Inside, 56.1. Outside, dropped a half a degree, so just over 32. Uh, still snow on the ground, of course, but, you know, that's cool. So, we'll see how things go. So, check this out, folks. I even set up a little security system. Not the best picture ever, but I forgot my antenna to the wireless cameras. But it shows both sides of the van. In case any woodland animals come around, I could see what's making all the noise outside. So I thought that was kind of cool, thought I'd show you. I also brought, I know it's not good camping behavior, but my little Sega I got for Christmas, it's like 81 games in one machine. But uh, the cool part is, is it has um, Altered Beast, one of the best games ever put up by Sega. Starts off, I command you to rise from your grave and rescue my daughter. So it's a pretty cool game, I'll play that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Just checking in. Pretty cool. Alright folks, so I finally decided that I'm hungry enough to eat something. So, want to watch a video. I got my rice going. My little cooking system. So, after that starts boiling about 20 minutes, I should have some nice tasty rice to eat for dinner. Uh... Let's check the temperature. So inside, about 50 degrees. Outside, below freezing, so 31.2. So definitely getting colder out there. 
I'm not quite sure how cold it's supposed to be over here, uh, just south of Index. So, um, pretty much on the drive to the trailhead for Dorothy Lake. So, if you know where that's at, you can know where I'm at. So, uh, probably pretty cold since there's still snow on the ground in the middle of the forest. So, after my dinner gets ready to go, I love that little thing. It's awesome. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now quarter past 11. I have about 15 minutes left in my movie, so about 11.30 or so, I'm going to go to sleep and see if I can sleep through the night. Just check the temperature. It is 40 degrees inside the van, 30 degrees outside the van. So, no matter where I'm sleeping, it's going to be damn cold. But, uh, can't be worse than last year when it was 20 degrees and I was just inside of a tent. So, I have a lot more options inside the van here to stay warm. Uh, and I realized, I looked out the window, my gosh, it's awfully bright outside. So, I got dressed again, went outside, and realized it's a full moon tonight. If not full, pretty damn close. So, of course, I started thinking about werewolves, crazy people. I was thinking, bam. Not quite sure how y'all can see this, or how well, but that is the full moon I was talking about earlier. So... <clears throat> Good morning. It is about 1.30 in the morning. The next day, which will be uh, January 2nd. It is 37 degrees inside the van. And 30 degrees outside the van. So, just woke up because the moon was beating me in the eye. And it was actually too bright to go to sleep, so. To readjust and thought I'd do a quick video update. But yeah, still, still cold. Uh, pretty much it. So, going back to sleep. Good morning, folks. It's 6.30. I survived the night. Uh, I just looked at the temperature. It's 30 degrees outside, so it hasn't changed. But now it's 35 degrees inside the van, so I think it's time to get up, start the engine, warm this place up, get some breakfast. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll check in with you later on. All right, y'all, it's 7.30 in the morning. Temperature has not changed outside. Just the camera. Uh, but it has changed inside now it's back up to like 50 which is more a lot more tolerable uh, but I realized last night um, I never showed you my mood lights so check this out let me turn this one off here it's a little dark right now but check this out BAM pretty cool huh yeah does that make you in the mood or what they also have these side lights here just for extra little bit of illumination but together Lights up back there pretty good. Not the brightest uh, lights anyway, but that's like I said, just mood lights. If I want brightness, I can just turn all these on and like, bam, check that out. So, pretty cool. 